Saints offensive tackle Teron Armstead is no longer in Miami, he was filmed at a training facility in Allen, Texas with offensive line scout and developer Duke Manyweather. Miami Herald's Barry Jackson stated the Dolphins are still waiting for Armstead's decision to come to Miami. Dolphins general manager Chris Greer is also in Texas, does this have any connection to Armstead? Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer flew out this Tuesday March 22 to Texas A&M Pro Day, but as far as we know so far, and reading official reports there is zero connection between Armstead and Greer both being in Texas at the same time. Armstead and Allen is not close to Texas A&M either, so for now we can state it might be a fairly odd coincidence. Does Teron Armstead leaving Miami without a deal affect his chances to be a Dolphin? Like Barry Jackson said it took the Bengals about three days to fully sign Leo Collins, however when it was reported Collins would be flying out of Cincinnati to visit another team the Bengals wasted no time. And signed the former Pro Bowl tackle to a deal before he had the chance to leave the city, state. Every case is different, there is noise that Armstead's deal with Miami is coming close to being done. With various contract numbers being thrown out there, until there is official confirmation I won't come here and tell you that is 100% fact or not. But we do know it is almost certain that if Armstead signs with Miami he will become the highest paid tackle in football. NFL Network reported Armstead would probably set the offensive line market, one of my most trusted sources didn't confirm numbers, or whether Armstead would sign or not. But they did mention the contract Armstead was asking for was legendary. Injury concerns are very real for a 31-year-old player coming off surgery, and wanting north of $20 million per year, but what's the other option? Every tackle on the market this year came with injury concerns, this is just a risk that Miami has to be willing to take if they want a chance at competing with the rest of the AFC. There is no doubt Teron Armstead is worth top dollar for the Miami Dolphins. Teron Armstead would replace Liam Eichenberg who had a very concerning rookie season at left tackle, Eichenberg had 10 penalties, 9 sacks, and a 50.8 grade during his rookie season according to Pro Football Focus. To put it into comparison, Teron Armstead by the numbers, 2021. 468 snaps, 3 penalties, 1 sack allowed. 75.9 overall grade. Teron Armstead by the numbers, 2020. 857 snaps, 4 penalties, 3 sacks allowed, 86.3 overall grade. Teron Armstead is an absolute monster when healthy, and that's the risk Miami is taking on. Miami doesn't have that type of talent or dominance, and it is something they desperately need. Dolphins agree to a five-year deal with offensive tackle Teron Armstead. Entering the offseason, the offensive line was the biggest need for the Miami Dolphins, and they've just added one of the top free agents to improve the unit in 2022. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, the Dolphins have agreed to a five-year deal with former New Orleans Saints offensive tackle Teron Armstead after meeting with him early in the week. NFL Network's Tom Pelissero added the deal is for $75 million plus incentives. Armstead, 30, was widely considered the best tackle on the market after the final year of his contract voided at the start of the league year. When he's on the field, he's one of the best in football, but he's struggled to stay out there in recent seasons, as he's missed 33 games, including 9 in 2021. Adding Armstead and Connor Williams on the left side of the line should help shore up a unit that was one of the worst in the league last season by many metrics.